Hi, I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. This week we are looking at liquid metal batteries. That's right, Terminator number two. So after watching the presentation, you'll understand what a liquid metal battery is, how they work, and what are some of the applications. If you like what you see, hit that subscription button. Let's get stuck into it. Ready, set, go, go, go. In this presentation, we'll be looking at liquid metal batteries and answering some of the following questions that include, well, what are they? And how do they work? And what are their applications? And are there advantages over the traditional uh, lithium battery solutions that are out there at the moment? And still, when I talk about liquid metal batteries, I have that vision of Terminator number two. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, that's just me. And we will be talking about the, the Ambry battery specifically. They have a thermally stable electrolyte and the active materials alloy and de-alloy during the charge and discharge process. And it's a really interesting point with these batteries. The negative electrode is fully consumed when discharged and then is fully reformed on every cycle, resulting in no memory effect at all. Liquid metal batteries operate at very high temperatures and they're usually non-conductive at room temperature. So this is where they differ com completely from, say, your lithium ion solutions. At around 500 degrees C, they're operating at their maximum. And because of that fact, the, where they can actually go, the, the range is, is much bigger than, say, a, a lithium solution. So for instance, um, imagine a mining application in the Pilbara, you could put them into an area where it's 40 or 50 degrees or somewhere in the Sahara or any of these hot conditions. In the case of the Ambry battery, it's in a stainless steel housing with a positively polarised case and a negative terminal protruding from the centre of the lid. Obviously they're in individual cells and multiple cells are contained within trays and then multiple trays are contained within a container system. Thermal management, weatherproof outer enclosure and a battery management system, a BMS, are also included. Invariably with any energy storage solution, chemistry, Comparisons are made with existing technologies and what I have up on the board here is some, just some basics comparing the liquid metal battery, the Ambry liquid metal battery with um, some lithium solutions in general. So the liquid metal battery operates at 500 degrees C. So obviously there's no issues uh, putting these into very hot climates, uh, no requirement for additional um, electrical loads for uh, cooling the actual batteries down to a uh, a temperature that they operate. In fact, um, they're shipped at room temperature and then when they come to site, they're heated up. And once they start the charge discharge cycle, then it's self-perpetuating. Each, each cell heats it, the one next to it and so on and so forth. Um, compared to lithium, uh, really like, lithium like human beings prefers 20 to 23 degrees centigrade and doesn't really like to go beyond um, 60 degrees or even 40 in some cases and certainly not below zero for any lengths of time. It severely um, impedes the battery's ability to, to uh, deliver um, a charge. The liquid metal batteries are made out of cheap abundant materials so we're talking calcium and antimony. Um, readily available and lots of it, so um, good long-term investment, whereas the lithium batteries are less abundant materials like cobalt, nickel, uh, manganese um, and magnesium. Oh, magnesium is not too bad, but uh, a lot of the um, components that they put into the lithium ion batteries um, are not going to last very long, and plus there's some environmental issues with any mining of any, any material. Uh, the liquid metal is not that energy dense, uh, less than 200 uh, watt hours per kilogram, whereas uh, the um, energy density of a, say, a Tesla battery is about 260 watt hours per kilogram, so obviously a smaller footprint, if that's important. Uh, not so good for mobile applications, in other words, uh, vehicles, etc., because of the way they're configured with that full um, liquid electrolyte. Uh, and, and there's very other, other factors, uh, whereas the um, lithium solutions are, are good for mobile applications. Uh, obviously, Tesla cars and 
there's various buses and um, that kind of stuff. Very important, no chance of thermal runaway due to the chemistries you use. Obviously with lithium, there is a chance of thermal runaway. Uh, there have been some fires on some pretty sizable systems and there probably will continue to be. So uh, it doesn't happen very often, but it does. But in, with a liquid metal battery, it's impossible for a fire. Uh, 20 plus year lifespan, so effectively minimal degradation during the charge discharge cycle. And they like to be charged and discharged fully every two days compared to a, um, a lithium solution where you've got 10 plus years if you're lucky. The technology was initially proposed in 2009 and it was based on magnesium and antinomy separated by molten salt. Magnesium was selected to be the negative electrode due to its low cost and low solubility in the molten salt electrolyte, whereas antinomy was chosen to be the positive electrode for its low cost and has a higher anticipated discharge voltage. The cost of the, of the materials used in the liquid metal batteries is, is pretty cheap. So you're looking with calcium and antinomy, a third of the cost of say cobalt and nickel and, uh, manganese, etc. So, again, um, economies of scale obviously will reduce the costs even more as more um, um, distributors and more data centres and large users of energy will start incorporating these liquid metal batteries into their energy management strategy. What is the main application of liquid metal batteries? Effectively, peak shaving. Consumers expect electricity at all times without brownouts, so brownouts and blackouts, uh, voltage spikes. They provide also fast response for frequency regulation applications, offering long duration performance for reserve capacity markets. Conclusion, liquid metal batteries operate at very high temperatures. The materials that make up liquid metal batteries are abundantly available and cheap, and they can continue to deliver for 20 plus years. Thanks so much for watching our presentation on liquid metal batteries. I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. If you have any questions, any inquiries, any answers, or any suggestions for other movies that involve liquid metal, please drop us a line. And if you like what you see, hit that subscription button. Bye for now.